Right, very quick video. If you're trying to download Office 2010 or subsequent years or previous years, you'll see this now. For 2010, you'll see on the Microsoft page upgrade from 2010 to Microsoft 2365. I'm not doing that because they'll charge you, I think, a yearly fee. Uh, I may be wrong, but I think that's the case. Uh, Office 210 will be retired 220, but I'm going to still stick with it. Now, there's a lot of jiggling around here. You won't get very far. However, um, I did. I did manage to, to, to make it through, navigate through this um, this uh, website. And I clicked. Look, you've got 2007, 2013, uh, 2010 download now. So if we clicked on that, what did we get? Here we go. So the 2010 download now uh, button that I clicked on. You need to have your office product key. Make sure you, sh if you haven't got it, then I'm afraid I don't know how to help you. But I've still got mine from uh, ages ago when I upgraded from 2007 to 2010 free of charge. And I've still got that pro uh, product key. Uh, enter your product key in here, verify. It gives you a link to the download page and uh, just click click enter just, just click uh, download and it and it works so let's see where I'm up to on mine it says there's only one instance of setup maybe run at a time okay so run at a time doesn't mean one can only be set up on a computer you know you can only do it once it means you can use the product key a few times at different computers but you can only do it you know one computer at a time that's okay. Uh, all right. Okay. How far did I get? This is my 2007. This I tried doing that, uh, and I thought, no, nah, I, I want a 2010. So I've got, I still got a product key for that. I, you know, I could put that in. And that would last forever, and I've got the disc for that. But of course, the 2010 was a download instead of a disc. It was an upgrade from 2007 to 2010, so it was no disc. So that's why you've got to. Yeah, I want to cancel it up. So you've got to go through this sort of uh, thing. All right. Thanks for watching. So this is what it looks like after you downloaded the Windows, uh, not Windows, the uh, Office 10. So it's got all the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote. So all the ones I usually use is stuck in there with Skype. Uh, so it comes out as an app. Uh, I didn't notice it being located anywhere on my C drive or my SSD drive or anywhere, any drive. So somehow when you download this um, Office 2010 via the um, product key, uh, with, when you haven't got a disk, it's not physical. I couldn't find it anywhere. Maybe I'm wrong. However, what I did notice is a bit odd. Any file that I had, like an old Word document, I tried to just double click on normally, it wouldn't open, right? So I had to actually come on this screen here, which is like a it's like a red rectangle at the bottom of your um, screen uh, that covers all of these. It's red, red, uh, red to rectangle. I'll try and show you in a second. And you have to press this button, find the file. So upload. Press this button, upload it for some odd reason, you upload your own files to the cloud and you don't really need to hit the save button the save button on all this um, on the word document disappears so you don't save anything it just saves it automatically but you can save as which is all a bit odd so red button red red button pops up at the bottom of your uh, if you pin it to the bottom there uh, red red tangle so anyway good luck with that so I'll use it like this, this seems to work is that red box there it looks a bit like a book though it looks kind of orange on my screen now